All right, guys, here we are. Uh, we're working in the shed. Got all the lawnmowers and stuff out there. Um, I've got a helper today, and what we're going to do is we're going to work on this arcade cabinet that we found on the side of the road. Brought it home. Uh, there's very little inside of it. Let me go around this way so you can see what's in here. There appears to be like a coin door at the base. Uh, it's missing... Uh, the coin slot, what we'll probably do is 3D print one and install it. There's some wiring here that goes up to the lights. And there's a couple of light bulbs in there, so maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to wire this thing up and maybe the marquee will light up. There's some minor work that needs to be done inside of here, uh, mostly sanding and just cleaning up. We've got to build a base here for the controls to sit on so we'll probably cut a piece of plywood we've got a couple sheets of plywood over here that we're going to try and use maybe for the inside uh we may use some mdf which is the i think this is like pressed wood it's not actually mdf but uh anyway we'll build something here that this monitor will be able to fit into it's got some holes on the back, so we'll use those screws, build our own custom mount so this thing will fit in here. And we'll do some sanding. You can see around the base here, uh, need some work. The bottom of it, I'm debating whether or not to replace the bottom it, or just put another layer of wood over it. Um, it's in need of some work, so... I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. But anyway, this is uh, our next project. Something <coughs> that'll be a lot of fun to put together. And we'll see you once we make a little progress. Over your nose? There you go. Yeah, that's better. That's safe. <laughs> anyway, we're trying to get the last coat on. It's looking pretty good. We got the marquee taken off, so there's no plastic in here. Uh, this, you can kind of see the wood grain. That's okay. It's going to be covered anyway. We got the bracket here. And then over here, there's the other bracket, and that's where the plexiglass is going to go. And the monitor's obviously taken out uh, intentionally so we can get it all painted. And we'll just put it back in. Plexiglass is somewhere over here. There it is. Put it back here so it wouldn't get messed up. But it's already cut. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, all of it, dude. Just put an even coat across, okay? All right. So you have to keep your can back just a little bit, not too close. Good job, bud. I think it's going to look pretty good. Then we got some speakers to mount inside. Thought about doing it before we painted, but it seems like it's going to be easier. Anyway, we got some uh, CA audio speakers. Uh, that we're going to put in there. I don't think we're going to be drilling any holes. Uh, 
this cabinet's got a mono speaker but I think we'll just put both speakers right up there beside it taped over the original data east label so it'll still be there when we're done painting and then uh, the keys key locks so anyway oh one other thing to show you while we have daylight this is the 3d printed coin door it's not perfect but uh, it's got a piece of wood on the back so we can set it in there can you hold off painting for just a sec Go ahead. so that's what it'll look like when it's installed and then we can remove it and get in there okay go ahead bud All right. so anyway that's the uh, coin door for it not perfect but hey it was fun it works it's functional except for actually taking credits <laughs> get a little paint on you yeah well, you're doing good, bud. We might be able to take this inside either later to nine or tomorrow. Maybe. I don't think it's supposed to rain, is it? No, not that I know of. We'll bring it in in the morning. And uh, maybe go ahead and start putting some of the electronics in it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but we've got some plywood that we put down to kind of cover the areas that were falling apart put some a lot of wood glue in there so it should help hold it um, I guess that's about it for now so we'll see how it looks after the paint dries and we'll start putting it together probably tomorrow all right guys well the weekend's almost up and our arcade is just about done all the buttons are wired up here you can see we've got the uh, raspberry pi here and a powered usb hub uh power strip uh bass sound speaker there's a power switch and volume way over there and then well, I got it down here. Well, look, there's the wiring for the joysticks. Um, there's two little USB controllers that are controlling all these buttons and the joysticks. Uh, of course, they're all plugged into the uh, USB hub. Um, there's the monitor all mounted. Now, the fun part. Let's take a look at the front. Oh, and here is Landon. Hello. And Landon, you ready to show them the front of the uh, arcade? Yep. All right. I'm glad this is this project's just about over because it's been a long one. All right. Ta-da! There's some artwork that was printed. Um, we've got some other artwork that's coming in that's going to look a little bit better. Uh, we've got uh, what was that Miss Pac-Man? We'll go ahead and exit out of that. And we'll go to let's put Street Fighter. Here, you want? Why don't you put Street Fighter on there? Press A. These are just a couple games that we have licensed. Uh, so that's about all we're going to put on it for now. Alright, go ahead and put a quarter in, select, and start, start, oh I'm sorry, one player, <laughs> we just programmed this, I mean just minutes ago, <laughs> and Lennon and I just did a test a few minutes ago playing Street Fighter. You also notice there's a scan line converter. If I get real close to it, you can see the scan lines. All right, Liam, go ahead and exit the game. Start and select. All right, and let's do the grand finale. Let's put that coin door in. And we'll call it done for tonight. Go ahead, buddy.
That'll work. That's good. I don't think we'll need to end it anytime soon. Um, over here we do have a USB. You may not be able to see because I'm kind of blocking. There's a USB and an auxiliary audio for headphones. Um, the headphones aren't wired up, but the USB is. But anyway, that's all for tonight. We're tired and uh, Walking Dead's coming on. So see y'all later. <laughs>